Everybody's heard that if you plant a tree, you can save the planet. But new research is showing that if you put house plants in your house, you can get rid of some toxins. So today I'm with Debbie Barnhart at Cornell Farm. Hi, and you. Debbie, so tell me a little bit about that research. It's pretty exciting. Yeah, it's really amazing. Um, Dr. B.C. Wolverton worked at NASA in the 70s and 80s and 90s. And he discovered doing research for space stations okay. because they exude toxins. Uh, what houseplants would take up these toxins? And so it's actually transferred like toothpaste and tang into practical knowledge for the homeowner. So that's great. So besides carbon dioxide, it can yes. get rid of some very specific toxins. Yes, like benzene, formaldehyde, and trichloroethylene, easy. among others. Easy for you to say, not for me. <laughs> so what are some of the specific plants that go with yeah. those? Yeah, okay. So for instance, if you want to get rid of formaldehyde in your home, you would be looking at like a pothos, um, a philodendron, and Boston ferns, and spider plants. Those are among the top absorbers of formaldehyde. And so, where does formaldehyde come from? Good question, right. How about carpeting? Cleaners, foam insulation, furniture, paper products, plywood, and particle board. So these are products that are in everybody's home. So definitely these plants definitely yes. have a place in everybody's house. Exactly. Okay. For sure. So what's another toxin? So another toxin would be benzene. Um, and the plants that would take care of those would be like Dracaenas and Gerberas and pot mums. Okay. So where you're going to get the benzene is detergents, inks, dyes, petroleum products, plastics, rubber products, synthetic fibers, and tobacco smokes. Big, another big list. It is. Now, I just have to say on the tobacco, it's not going to completely clean your home of tobacco smoke. That's one thing that it just won't be able to do. Okay. But for All the right. most part, that's, it's going to make a big dent. That's, that's good. Yeah. And, and you have one more? One more. Um, the pot mums and gerbs actually also will take care of trichloroethylene, which is in adhesives, dry cleaning, inks, dyes, lacquers, paints, and varnishes. Wow. So everything in your home, all over the place. So we, so we have a lot of those products in our home, a lot of the chemicals. So how many plants do I need? Okay. One per 100 square feet is what his study is recommending to maximize the complete absorption as much as possible. Okay. And that it happens very quickly, like within, as soon as you put the plant in the room, it starts absorbing. That's, that, that's really good. And, and the range of plants, I mean, are there different growing conditions in the house? Because I, I know that yes. I'm not really very good at house plants. So right. are there some that I could grow? Absolutely. The peace lily is one of them on the list that absorbs different things. Basically, any house plant is going to fit in your home in some light condition. Not any, but certain house plants for the right light conditions and will help. Okay, okay. Well, that's some really great information. I think it's really exciting that there are plants that can do more than just beautify the house. Yes. Um, if you're interested in finding out more about the plants to help remove toxins at your home, come down to Cornell Farm. And if your friends tell you next time that growing house plants is not rocket science, Tom, NASA says it is. <laughs> that's right. Thanks a lot. <laughs>